Okay, here we go, guys. Uh, we're just um, checking our batteries, all of our battery, house batteries, and the uh, starter battery. I got another battery over here and here. Um, so, firstly, what I did, I used a vacuum cleaner and I sucked up, made sure all the dust was clean before I opened any of these up so that um, you don't, don't not risking. Well, you less risk to get debris into your battery um, cells. Uh, so basically, we've got the uh, Endurant batteries. These are a wet cell battery. And um, so therefore, you need to check the levels, the water levels inside the batteries. And um, they've got these handy little ports that you open. They, they should just turn, like so, and you've got the access. Um, so what we're looking for is the water level needs to be up to the base of the plastic round thing. So this one's low, this one's low, this one's right on hot, the, where it should be. So we need to use denatured, uh, we need to use uh, denatured water I think it is, um, to top it up. And I've just got the water in like a little drink bottle so it's easier to sort of handle and so we're just gonna carefully fill up each cell so I'm just gonna bring up the cell to where it should be you should be able to see it by the water dripping on and see it's just touched the bottom of that plastic rip uh, ring and so on these batteries that's where it should be uh, so I'll go through and um, do that with all of them uh, the the start the crank battery the starter battery has uh, slightly different ports which I need a screwdriver to undo it but it's the same principle basically the water level's got to be up to the bottom of the plastic rims well each battery is slightly different but it's fairly easy to see and um, so we're just going to go through the batteries and uh, top them up. And uh, you want to do this about every uh, sort of really about every month. Um, but I, I've sort of been doing it about every three months, probably on average, and just checking that, just checking that level. And that's uh, checking your batteries on. Uh, in a boat it's the same principle for a car or anything like that as well so I'm just going to go ahead and um, check all the cells um, so also what you want to be doing while you're checking your batteries is obviously it's got to be clean you're looking for uh, any weeping from these cells looking at your terminals to make sure they're nice and clean that there's not no corrosion developing because if you've got corrosion developing, then you know you, you, you've probably got a bit of a problem somewhere. Um, and you, you have to address that problem. And that's it.